Hello, I'm David Shermer from The Secret. Many people know me as the car park guy and the checks in the mail guy. And uh, I just wanted to share some things with you this morning. I became aware of uh, an event recently that James Ray was running, a spiritual ret retreat in Arizona. And very sadly and tragically, two people died and a number of other people uh, were, went to hospital. I just wanted to share a couple of things about that from my insights and awareness. But firstly, I wanted to say that my spiritual beliefs uh, differ vastly from many of the secret teachers. I don't agree with uh, spiritual cleansing. And my belief is that we are uh, made perfect in God's eyes the moment we accept His Son, Jesus Christ, as our Lord and Savior. And no ritual um, can make us alive or new or clean other than that process. And so uh, um, I, I also want to sa say or uh, help people to understand that every teacher that appeared on The Secret appeared on there um, free of charge and, uh, and did what they did because of their genuine love and care for people. And so um, each one of us uh, were not paid, were not remunerated in any way for our contribution. And so my heart and my prayers go out to the families of the two people um, who lost their lives and to those that are still recovering, those that attended that James's event, and especially to James Ray and his team. And um, one thing I do know is that the media will probably have a field day with this. That they will try and put different slants and rip James apart and even, even try and attack the secret because I know and have experienced firsthand what the media is like. They will sensationalize um, it to the nth degree to get more viewers and ratings. And it doesn't matter whether it costs businesses lives or affects relationships. But um, that put aside, let me just uh, sh share with you some things. Some people will ask, you know, how is this event, how is this tragedy, um, how, how is it caused by the law of attraction? And of course, be confused. Other people might say, well, you know, if God is good, why does God let innocent people die in situations like this? And, um, and, and most people uh, do not and cannot understand that there is a spiritual warfare that's going on for your spirit all the time. In fact, um, I want to share something from the Bible that helps us understand this. It's in, in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 22. You can look it up for yourself. It says, For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies but rather against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers of this dark world, against evil spirits in heavenly places. And that's really true. See, we are in a spiritual battle. And, uh, and, and one thing I do know is my God, our God, uh, who loves all mankind, loves every single person exactly the same. He loves you just as much as he loves me. In fact, he loves us as much as he loves his son, Jesus Christ. And so um, many people um, don't believe that Satan even exists. And that may be a challenge for you, but I want to share some, something with you. People will often say everything has an equal and an opposite, the law of opposites and so on. And if that's true, then, then surely then God has an opposite. And, and that opposite is the, he is the greatest deceiver, thief and liar that, uh, that, that exists in this world. And, uh, and, and many people don't believe that he exists and that is his greatest deception. Satan is a spirit just as God the Father is a spirit. And John 10.10 10 says this, that Satan comes as a thief to steal, kill and destroy. That's exactly what he's done. And, uh, but it also goes on to say that Jesus came and comes to give life and give it more abundantly. And so every person must be accountable for their actions. And, uh, and I also understand that every person is in a spiritual warfare, whether they understand it or not. But I also know that we can 
and do have authority in, in the spirit. And we can, if we understand and know that, it can be very powerful. But I want you just to just want to say one last thing. Please send James Ray and his team your love and support. I know that this, uh, this time will be a, 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 a very challenging time for him and the people that were there. And uh, this time will be uh, a probably more important than any other time in their life that they just uh, they get support. So send them your prayers and love and support. And uh, I trust that this has been helpful and been some insight for you.